G'day guys, gonna be tackling the issue of low back pain when you're riding your bike in this video, okay? So I'm gonna discuss why it happens. We're gonna do an at-home flexibility test to check your flexibility and see if that is what's causing the issue. And then last but not least, I'm gonna give you some exercises you can do in the comfort of your own home to help relieve the pain and stop the issue, okay? So generally guys, when we are suffering from low back pain, when riding, it's because we're seeing an increase in lumbar flexion, cool? So that's low back flexion, guys. If we have really, really tight hamstrings, Ouch. we're gonna struggle to get the range we need to generate good power on the bike, and that's gonna force us into excessive lumbar flexion, which causes a lot of pain for a lot of people, okay? You can do an at-home flexibility test real easily, guys. So feet underneath the hips, hands up to the sky, Big breath in, legs straight, and we're exhaling, trying to touch our toes. Cool? If you're struggling to get to your toes, guys, you probably need work immediately on your hamstring flexibility. Pop over to a couch, guys, or something of similar height. Place one of your legs up, straightened out, toes pointing towards you, and we're just gonna pulse. Cool, so this pulsing mo movement we're gonna go for 50 repetitions, okay? Once we've completed 50 there, we're gonna do 50 pulses of driving the toe towards your body, okay? Obviously, you're gonna repeat that on the other leg. And the second exercise is gonna be very similar to what we just did for the test, guys. So hands up in the sky, big inhale, exhale, and then we're coming down and again, we're pulsing, cool? While we're doing all of these exercises, guys, make sure we're taking nice, big, deep breaths, okay? The tighter we are, it's gonna cause us to struggle oh. to see that range that we really want, okay? So frequency, guys, how often should you do this? I recommend doing this at least every day. If you can get a couple times a day, that's awesome. When it comes to flexibility improvement, frequency is key, guys. Probably you can get some results with a minimum of five times a week, but try to do it every day. I like to record your flexibility when you first test it. So get someone to take a photo of you, take a video of yourself, and then record again in a week or two's time and see how much improvement, okay? Personally, I saw amazing improvement. I was sort of halfway down my shin to touching the floor within a couple of days, okay? So increase that frequency, guys. If you like the video, if you found it useful, guys, hit the like button, share it with some friends, subscribe, and you'll hear from me soon.